From an officer punching a teenager in the face to an officer threatening a minor and his friends, today we're discussing situations where police officers were found to be physically harming young people without any good reasons. What you have to say? No. Tell me one more time you're going to jail, sir. What's your name? In January 2022, things took an unexpected turn during a routine traffic stop. Chris Faria, who was driving, admitted to running a stop sign. This admission led to tension when Deputy Christine Newman from Camden County stopped her and requested Faria to exit the vehicle. I really don't, but when I tell you to get out of the vehicle, you are to get out of the vehicle. So get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle right now. Just can't sit there in front of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Right now, get out. Get out. Get out. Deputy warning she'd break the car window if Faria didn't exit. Losing her temper, she forcibly pulled Faria out of the car and pushed her to the ground. Taser, taser, taser. When a second officer arrived, tensions escalated as Faria resisted being handcuffed. The male officer quickly used a taser without hesitation. As they approached Deputy Christine's patrol car, she unexpectedly struck Faria in the face. Not just once, but twice. Then, to make matters worse, she forcefully pushed Faria's head against the squad car once more. It's all right, you're okay. Relax. I just wanted her to step out of the car know, so I can talk to her about her. We already discussed it. Relax. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm so, like, the f Relax. did that even come from? Yes. I know, I don't know where that came from. I, honestly, she would not get out of the car. You do what you gotta do. Okay? No, she was not compliant. You do what you had to do to get it. The officer was suspended for two days and then had to undergo a probationary period. A year later, a grand jury officially accused Deputy Christine of serious crimes, including aggravated assault and abusing her position's trust. As a result, Deputy Christine lost her job. Your hands up! Open the door! On August 15, 2022, Zachary Pacheco, a teenage boy, had a surprising and upsetting experience. While coming home from school, he was stopped by State Police Officer Robert Larson, who was following specific instructions related to a case. Officer Robert swiftly pulled out his gun and told Zachary to get out of the car. Zachary, scared and unsure, obeyed the officer and got out of the car, only to be promptly handcuffed without hesitation. Put your hands up! Open the door! Put your hands up! Walk back! No, hey, no, open, let me see your hands. Walk out. Walk out. Walk back. Let me lift up your shirt. Stay right there, keep your hand on your head. How many weapons on you? Man, he's gonna poke me, stick me? No? Okay. Well, That's Rachel? Yeah. Hey, this guy you were in the school the whole time? Yeah. I live here. Yeah, it's to my house. That's, that's the same truck? Same, same, same truck, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wait, how old are you? 17. 17? You know, heart rate is down with a thousand, right? Heart rate is down with a thousand. Who's this truck re registered to? For my truck. It's my dad's. Well, your dad's? His name is Adam Pacheco. Okay, who's Lisa? Lisa. That's my step -up. Where is she at? She's at home. Where? No, more around the corner. It's called, that's the, that's the little theater. La Masia? Yeah, La Masia. Yeah, we have to call, because this is a truck that looks used to. 
Come on, go ahead, man. You're not under arrest right now? Yeah, he's just detained, man. He's detained, okay? There's gonna be some guys that can talk to you. So your, your truck is just a truck we've been looking for. It's yeah, been I involved in some stuff. Zachary found himself encircled by officers. After a thorough inquiry involving him and his family, the officers realized they had wrongly pegged him as a suspect solely based on the truck he was driving. Hello? I'm talking. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I couldn't hear you. So I guess there was a confusion, but this was a truck that we were given out to uh, look out for. I am livid. You know what? No, I understand that. Later, and you guys have him in handcuffs. He just got out of school. You're talking about a 4.2 GPA kid. I understand, ma'am, but that's the information that we're given, you know, so that's 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 why we well, pulled him over. Your information before. Yes, ma'am, uh, but that's the information that we were I given. I need your name, and I need, I need your badge number. Okay, Officer Rodriguez. And what is your badge number? 70135 oh, now. 135? Yes, ma'am. You will be hearing from my attorney. This okay. Ridiculous. That's fine, ma'am. You, you literally detained him and put him in handcuffs. He's a fucking minor. No, I understand, but at the time we don't know that, so that's why we were that's what we were rolling for. What are you doing with him now? So he's gonna get released, he's gonna go home. This is ridiculous. You yes, will be hearing from my attorney. Okay, that's fine. What is your what is your matter? Is this Espanol PD or who are you? So Espanol PD is the one that received the call and they're the ones that put out the bolo for the vehicle. Uh, this is state police. This is ridiculous. And, and not, not, nothing in your right mind that he's a minor? No ma'am. Well, we don't know. We don't know because the vehicle is not registered to him. It's registered to you, right? The cop phoned Zachary's mom to say sorry for the mix-up, but she was really mad. To cover her back, she jotted down the cop's badge number and name, planning to sue him. We just want to know why you did this. Because, because you didn't, you didn't get like I said, because like I said. How old he was? So we, ma'am, whenever, 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 excuse me? Give me your supervisor's name. Okay, so it's Lieutenant Casales? Fucking ridiculous. I will call him because apparently you're an idiot. Okay, go, go ahead, ma'am. That's fine. There you go. What's up? You're good to go, bro. Yeah, yeah. No worries. She's just freaked out. I was freaked out. No, that's fine, man. Is that her? No, that's, that's my Nina. That's my oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So you're good to go? Yeah, you're good to go, man. So I can take the truck? Yeah, you can take the truck. Sorry, babe. Look. No, so we were given information that this uh, vehicle was possibly used in an armed robbery earlier in the day. So that's why we pulled it over. Is this what was but, going on by McCurdy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we pulled it over. But once we realized it wasn't, I mean, it's not him, so he's he's good to go. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's 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 the whole the whole reason. Okay. So, yes, ma'am. All right. You. You're welcome. After Zachary was let go and brought to safety by a neighbor, the story didn't end there. His family decided to take legal action against the police, resulting in the New Mexico Department of Public Safety having to pay a $200,000 settlement. The unexpected detention of a teenager still in school might have really messed with his head. And then there's another story about a cop who didn't handle things right with a kid. The situation unfolded when Officer James and his team spotted a bunch of teens in a car. They heard some rude words, so they decided to stop the car. How's it going? License insurance. That's why I got pulled over? Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you in just one second. Uh, yeah, come on back here with me, Mr. Burke. Yes, sir. Mr. Burke, yes, sir. I'm going to ask you one time. How long you had your license? Over six months. Over six months. So everybody, you're good to haul everybody around there, okay? Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you one time. Yes, sir. All right? If you don't, we're going to go another route with it. Who yelled out of your Jeep when you went by us? Who? Brandon. Which one was Brandon? When the officer learned that 17-year-old Brandon Hughes had said something offensive, he reacted strongly, which seemed unnecessary. What'd you have to say? No. Tell me one more time you're going to jail, son. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon Hughes. I know who you are. Is there something you need to say to us that you want to yell out the window? Who are you yelling at? Hey, look at me when you talk to me, son. Who are you going to yell at? What would you say? F the police. You're sorry. Get your hands out of your pockets. Why do you want to say that to the police? No, I ain't protecting you. F the police. Why, you can get back to, why do you want to F the police, son? 
why you say it then? You think it's going to make you a badass or something no, in front sir, of everybody? No, sir, I don't because I'm getting fussed out. Right. You want to no, police? No, well, here I am, right here, I brother. I don't want to. Why not? No, You're a tough to. guy. Come on. The officer got aggressive, telling the teen to put his hands on him, but the kid seemed upset about what happened, even though it wasn't against the law. Be the day you was in court, remember? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity. Yes, sir. Then why you want to yell about it when you're in front of your buddies right there? Is it cool? You trying to be a badass in front of them? Yes, you sure? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity yes, to fuck me up. You understand? Yes, sir. Now let me ask you this. What have I ever done to you? Nothing at all. Not a thing. Yes, what has my partner ever done to you? Not a thing. Not a thing, right? Yes, sir. So why do you want to f the police? I don't. Now it's a little bit more than being stupid is what I think. So do you, let me ask you something. Next time you get caught selling weed or having weed on you, do you think somebody's going to try to cut you a break? If I go to God jerking everybody out of that Jeep and I find one ounce of damn weed, do you think I'm going to take everybody to jail? Yes, sir. No, sir. Just me. No, hell, I'm going to take every one of your friends to jail. Yes, sir. How old are you? Six, seventeen. I didn't know y'all could be so goddamn stupid anymore. Everybody get out of the Jeep. Even though Brandon said sorry, James kept shouting and making threats, saying they might end up in jail for things they didn't even do. You want to see how big of a pole po police is going to be? I'm fixing to show you. I'm fixing to search every one of you and every ounce of this Jeep. Man, so help me God, if I find one seed, every one of you is going to go to jail because of the police, son. 17, can you 25 with me up at checkers? It's funny, ain't it? Did y'all laugh? Huh? Did you laugh? Did you laugh? You think it's funny? This smart ass right here says police. Yeah. James instructed everyone to get out of the car and conducted a search without any good reason or warrant. Bird, you can get back in the damn Jeep, son. You ain't done nothing wrong. Y'all two pile back in there. Y'all ain't done nothing wrong. Ain't no sense in y'all paying for this stupid ass down. That's that knucklehead off of Elm Street right there. Yeah, that I remember y'all I, I, he don't believe it, but I swear to God I can beat him in basketball. Dude, let me tell you something. I got two damn tore lig torn up ligaments. I will smoke both of y'all. Y'all can play two on one. Let me tell you something. You'd be so, you'd be so, you'd be on your little skinny ass. I'm telling you. You ever seen Charles Barkley play? In the end, James let all the friends go, but he asked Hughes to stay a bit longer. After a chat, Hughes was allowed to leave too. I mean, what, I would be okay if you were just trying to be a badass in front of your boys. Because you obviously have some pent-up frustrations. And I'm going to tell you right now, neither one of us done anything to you. So tell, so tell, be honest. Be honest about it. Why in the world do you really feel that way? Because deep down, you, you have to feel it. Because that, 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 you know what? I've been... I've been, I've done some crazy stuff in my life. Not once have I ever said that. Get your own picture, dude. I mean, we ain't never done anything to you. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying there's, I mean, not all cops are good. I mean, you, got, you, got, you do got some bad cops out there, but I don't consider myself one of them. I mean, if you, if you was in a car accident, whatever, I'd do my best to try to save your life. Yes, sir. And that includes putting ourselves in danger doing it. Get out of here. I'm tired of doing it. After watching the video, police chief Tyrone Oliver decided to fire Officer Diaz James for swearing, threatening a minor, and breaking the rules. These were issues that could have been resolved calmly, but the officer chose a different approach. It's alarming to see a police officer go too far, resorting to violence and mistreating teenagers in a severe manner. On July 9th, Officer Voya and Officer Diaz had to stop three teenagers because they were suspected of pointing BB guns at the police. This occurred during a police chase through the city that lasted for hours. In a concerning twist, Officer Diaz was seen punching a teenage suspect in the face, only stopping when another officer stepped in. At the same time, Officer Voya struck the teen's shoulder repeatedly. Shut these sirens off! Shut these sirens off! Alright, get a rescue! Get a rescue! Alright, shut these sirens off! Shut these sirens off! Yup, 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 yup. Alright, Christine, get a rescue over here, right? Yeah, King Street is salmon. 
All right, guys, we're live, all right? We're live, we're live, all right? Yeah. All right. All right. Who's ever not necessary, go back in service. Yeah. We should get, we should get, we should get this car. Yeah, I know. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. Guys, whoever's cars are out there, if you're not needed, go back in service. Guys, clear some of these cars up. Let's go. Back these people up. Guys, let's get this crowd back. Let's get this crowd back, guys. All right. Uh, I want these cars that are not that we don't need go back in service. I right, fifteen. I just want a couple of cars that make the apprehension to stay with me. Everybody else clear their scene, all right? All right, who made the apprehension? When punches weren't enough, Officer Diaz spat at a suspect whose face was already covered in blood. I just want a couple of cars that made the apprehension to stay with me. Everybody else clear their scene, all right? All right, who made the apprehension? I just want a couple of cars that made the apprehension to stay with me. Everybody else clear their scene, all right? All right, who made the apprehension? On the car that clears the seat, can put a place like a service package in the service. All the cars that are on Street, need to move that, the car. That, what, what kind of gun is that? Is that a rifle? That's a shotgun. Shotgun? Okay. Right. All right, LT, it looks like a shotgun over here. Watch out. Yep, yep. Okay, all right, that's good. That's good. That's a good shotgun, yep. All right. What gun is that? Is that a rifle? Shotgun? Okay. ILT, right, looks like a shotgun over here. Let's go. Back up. You know you're getting arrested. Guys, I want these people out of here if not obstruction. Let's go. If you don't leave, you get out charge apprehension. Let's go. You guys okay? Yeah, we're all set. All right. I got him. Okay. All right. Is he all right? Yeah, he's all right. Okay. He's in and out. All right. You got the medic stuff. Okay. We got the rest of you coming, all right? Okay. All right. All right. We got a rest of you coming for him. And I don't know how many people. Let's make sure the rest of you get in Yeah, we all, all set up to you. How many, how many people are in the car? How many people are in the car? Johnny, were you part of the apprehension? How many people are in the car? All right. So where's the, we have one here, one's over here. Where's the third one? What's the third one? There's one in here. I think there's one in the car back All right. What's the third person? Hey, Mike, we don't have to rush. If we have crowd problems, we don't have to rush them out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we can get crowd. All right. Get, cool. get uh, out of here, the way. Well, let's go on. Uh, did you guys make an apprehension? No, right? You guys didn't make an apprehension? All right. Okay. All right, I'm going off scene. The suspects were taken to the station in a police car. Later, an investigation looked into the behavior of the officers. It's surprising that neither of them faced charges, and they were both allowed to continue their job.